Alright guys, your boy DeAnthony of Break Room Blitz coming at you with another review. So this time it's a movie review, guys. So, I just came back from seeing Fences with Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. There were some other actors, but I, don't, I didn't recognize them, so I ain't going to mention them. But, if you like Viola Davis from How to Make a Murderer, and you like Denzel Washington from a hundred other movies that he probably did, then you probably need to go see this. Now, I was told it wasn't that good from my boy Adon. And I was kind of hurt, like, what? It ain't that, it wasn't that good? Man. But thankfully, I got my own mind, baby. Got my own mind. So, I went down there to go see it. And boy, oh boy. To me, this movie was brilliant. To me, I got pretty much everything that I needed from a movie and more. You know, I got my intellectual value. That dialogue. Those monologues that they had were awesome. And if you're a fan of, like, real acting, you know that monologues is a big thing. For you to be able to present something to an audience by yourself and be strong and accurate uh, and impactful, that is a real, a true actor. So when, I, when I'm when i watching this, I'm like, man, Denzel is killing it, ain't he? He's trying to get him another Oscar, ain't he? Like, that dialogue was, was just great. And it's, a, and it's, a, it's a, a period piece. So for African Americans, you're gonna really relate to it because it's you know how we grew up you know it's pretty much it it, it takes place in like the 40s or 50s I want to say like 40 yeah, 40s and 50s that's when it's taking place it's kind of after World War II and you just get to see you know how they're living their lives you know they're living in these huge houses but they're still living in pretty much like I don't want to say poverty, but, you know, it's still hard times. It's not just like, you know, it's all it's all good. I really enjoyed it. A, a good movie is going to have emotion. It doesn't matter if it's like a struggle. It doesn't matter if it's love. I should be able to see the importance of whatever it is you're trying to portray on this screen. And for me, they definitely did it. Viola Davis, God. Lee. Now, I'm already expecting this of Denzel Washington. That's my boy. You know, I like him in pretty much everything. Like, his facial expressions is just like, Hey! King Kong ain't got shit on me. Like, I'm already expecting greatness from him. But Viola, dude. I, she really did it for me. I felt like, I'm like, is she in, am I watching the time machine? Is this really happening in 1948? Because when she's talking and she's doing her dialogue and she's expressing how she's been there with, for him, for this man all this time and she got snot all down her lips and stuff, I'm like, dude, ain't nobody cry real like that. After, who, who else cried real like that with snot coming down? Like, you see the snot. As she's talking, this is a dialogue. She's having her own little monologue, and she just starts crying, and no start running. I'm like, bro, did you really do something to her, Denzel? Denzel, what y'all been doing on that set? Because she's she's really acting real well right now. Like, she's is she really there right now? It's crazy. So, I really liked it. I got what I wanted out of the movie. Um, so, as you guys probably know or don't know, uh, this is a book. And a play. And in the play, it was done by James Earl Jones. It was a pretty famous, uh, well known play. Uh, I didn't. I, did I read the book? I think I read the book in high school. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I did read that book. Um, and, I, and it was good. You know, I, I think I did read it. I want to say I did, but I didn't know about the play and all this before. I was just reading this to read it. Uh, and. It was a, it was a, I love the book. Can I say I love the book? Because I, I think I read the book. I think I, I think I read it. But anyway, um, I didn't get to see the play, but I did see, like, parts of the play. And that whole scene about when the son is saying, Dad, why don't you like me? I get both sides. You know, it was a really, it's a really, um, heartfelt moment. You know, because I had issues with, you know, my dad as far as, like, feeling like he loved me. And when he asked that, how, Dad, how come you don't like me? I'm like, well, how come? Well, what you got to say? You know, but his answer, he says, don't worry about people liking you. I ain't got to like you. That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't in the contract. 
All I gotta do is feed you, put a roof over your head, make sure you're ready for the world. That's that's all I need to do. You lie because of me. Don't worry about people like you. When my job don't pay me because they like me, they pay me because they owe me. They pay me because that's what they're supposed to do. That is what we signed up for. I do a job and they do something for me and they pay me. So you make sure people are doing right by you. Not that they like you. They can like you all day, but still do you dirty. And honestly, I get it. it ain't, that's not what you want to hear in no 15 years old, though. But I get it. You know, that's not how I would do my son. My son would know, will know, is going to know, does know that I love him. And that's my little champ. Um, we aren't, I don't ever, I don't really say that we're friends, but I got his back. You know, so I wouldn't parent like that. But in 1948, this dude said that he grew up. And uh, he was a kid in 1918, so we coming right out of slavery. His dad was a, probably a slave, you know. So they got this mentality. That's how they grew up, you know. That's 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 all they knew. Like like you, what are you talking about? I love you. I gave you your life, and like the way he's hitting his chest, his son chest, like man up. And I was like, dang, you know. But it was man, it was a deep movie. Um, it was a very intelligent movie because, you know, you this dialogue, this man, I, I'm not an actor, I'm not Denzel, and I can't really do it, but as he's talking, he does not skip a beat. He is like, he comes over here, he messes with the lamp, he puts stuff in the drawer, he's just like doing all this extra stuff. Talk about multitasking? He is super multitasking. He is doing everything Physically, while talking verbally, like without missing the beat, not like what was I saying? You know, you look in the refrigerator and you be like, "What did I want?" It was it, it was nothing like that. It was so intelligent. I appreciated his acting. I appreciated uh, Viola. I appreciate his uh, two sons. I even appreciate his brother, played by John Adepo Corey, um, the guy that played um, Bubba in uh, Forrest Gump. You know, the other half of the uh, bubble Gump Shrimp Bubba. Hey, Forrest, we're gonna have fried shrimp. We're gonna have Cajun shrimp. We're gonna have hot water shrimp. We're gonna have <laughs> You know Bubba Gump. He was in it and I thought he played he, he was brilliant as playing a uh, Mentally disabled man like just just his character what he was what he was he was so simple but still, like, loving, like, you just you just felt for the man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wanted to play the trumpet. He carried around a trumpet every day because he was waiting on St. Peter to open up the gates of heaven. And he wanted to open up the gates for him. You know, so I thought that was, it was really sweet. You know, I like that. You know, it, it, it was, uh, it was heartfelt, you know? So he did an awesome performance. Uh, you know... <sighs> I don't want to like give stuff the stuff away. Even if I did, if you watched it, it would you would just be like at all with what's going on right now. Uh, to me, like if you like intellectual stuff, like if you like people who have the gift of gag, I don't have the gift of gag. I wish I did. I wish I could say anything to anybody. You know how many times I have to do this intro? When I do my intro, hey guys, the Anthony, I have to do it like five times, okay? So I don't have give a gab. I don't have that type of um I guess tongue to where I can just say stuff just like bam 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 so to me it was brilliant um I would say if I had to rate it if I had to rate it honestly I'm gonna give it a 10 because what it really brought like I enjoyed every single thing about the movie it was funny it was witty it was impactful it was uh accurate historically um the paraphernalia was was really, really, really good. You know, it was like everything about that movie, I felt like I was there at this time. I'm actually a guest in this man's house. That's another thing. That it all happens in this house. And it's either the house or the backyard. They don't really go too many more places than that. And to be able to hold an interesting conversation like that is to me brilliant. You know, when you can have dialogue with two or three people and they're all just having this great conversation that makes you think, I'm done. That's all I need. I would definitely rewatch this movie. I probably didn't even talk about what it's about. 
So, the movie is about a couple that's growing up in the 1940s. They're black. And they're dealing with their sons growing up. They're dealing with marital issues. Dealing with friendship issues. And it's very impactful to me. I'm going to say to me. Because I'm able to... I think that I have like this gift. And I'm going to just say that. That I can see... I can always see both sides. I can see where you're coming from. I don't have to like argue you down until you agree with me. I was like, you know what? I feel you. I see why you coming from where you coming from because your life experiences has led you to this point. And my life experiences has led me to this point. And it's cool. It's all good. So I'm able to understand all the different sides. You know what I'm saying? Like Viola, she played an awesome woman. This woman, if you watch it, she is a strong woman. Now, everyone in the theater was like, oh, heck no, nah, because Denzel, he do her pretty dirty, and he like, I'm just trying to tell you this how I am, and I just want to be happy, and this is what it's going to be like. Like, dang, bro, like, what? <laughs> like, you don't want to, like, apologize or nothing? You're just like, hey, I'm just, this is what it is. I'm like, uh... What are you trying to get out of this? Because I don't understand. You might as well just keep it a secret. Um, so, it's, it, it, it is kind of deep. It is, you know, uh, very thought-provoking. It is. you Because you have to understand what it is like in that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, to never... To work so hard and never really get nowhere. To put in all this time and get nothing out of it. You know, to have all this hope to have your dreams just slip from right up under you. You know, and to still try to be a man that you really don't know how to be because your father, your father wasn't in your life, but you're trying to be someone that you think a man is and you just falling short all the time, whether it's your job, whether it's your household, whether it's your kids, you know, and so I'm, I'm able to understand both sides. What I do, I agree with his methods. Do I agree that he should just like hold his son back because he's afraid for his son? Absolutely not. I grew up. As kids, you need to shoot for your dreams, man. Because if you fall, you're going to be right back to where you at anyway. It's working some job you don't like. So you might as well shoot. Because if you always stay here, this is where you, you ain't got nothing to lose. If you shoot and fall, you right, you right there at all times. So you might as well go for your own goals and your dreams. So I wouldn't do my kids like that. But... I thought it was just a great movie, man. Their performances just... I don't know. Like, If you like plays, you're probably going to definitely like this. If you like monologues, you're going to like this. If you like Denzel, if you like Viola, you want to see two of the best actors on screen ever go at it toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you're going to definitely like this, this movie. Uh, I'm trying to say as little as possible, but as much as I can without spoiling it. But like I said, even if I did spoil it, you would just enjoy the ride. Like, you know what's going to happen, but the ride to get there would be so interesting that you just don't care that it was spoiled. But I hope this is a good review. I really don't know. There was just so much I wanted to say about the movie, but without spoiling it. And now, if you've seen the play, some people said the play was better. Some people say that uh, James Earl Jones' performance was better than Denzel's, but... I don't really have a real comparison. I've seen it. I've seen some of it. Um, like on YouTube. You can look it up on YouTube. Fences. They have like some of the clips of the, the play. They might have the whole play there now. But I just didn't. I felt like it was more modern for me. But that's just me. So I liked it. I would say I almost liked it as much as the book. I keep saying that. But I don't physically have the book to be able to prove I read it. <laughs> but... I'm pretty sure I read it. It was a short book. It's not like it's a lot going on. So, but anyway, I would say go see it. Like I said, for that genre, just as a movie as, as a whole, I didn't really see too much I didn't like about it. I don't even have any nitpicks about it because it's, it, it spoke to me. You know, it might not really speak to you. Um, if you're, you know, not African American, you didn't, your family didn't grow up like that. You, it might not work for you. You know, but for me, I was able to connect with it. I was able to definitely enjoy it. So I would say go see it. Go see Fences, Denzel Washington, Viola Davis. Viola Davis, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to definitely have you uh, laughing and, you know, it's going to be impactful. All right, question of the day, guys. 
So, do you think that his dad is right or wrong? Do you think that to be able to say, I don't have to like you, is something that you should tell kids? Or, did you understand, or do you understand where he was coming from at that time? You know, in that time period. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know what I would be like back then. Now, I give my son a bunch of kisses all day. He know that daddy love him. Hey, love you, Noah. So, let me know what you guys think. You know, if, if this is something that, you know, you can understand or you can, you know, uh, it's justified or not. Alright guys, so I'm D. Anthony of Break Room Blitz. Oh, check out all the stuff. Check out all the stuff. We, we do movie reviews, discussions more like. And uh, we just want to know, we want to hear it from you guys. We want to, you know, we're trying to get our channel up. So, you know, check out our page. Check out the other stuff that we do. We do unboxings of, you know, different stuff, you know. And, you know, if you guys want to just see some different reviews, let us know what you want to see. And let us know what you think. All right, guys. So, like, share, comment, and I'm out. Peace. We're going to have shrimp. We're going to have...